today we will start unit 4. Unit 4 first topic is introduction to Raspberry Pi. So, in this session we will see about the board, what are the specifications of the board, different characters of the board. First, some introduction of Raspberry Pi, some of the features of Raspberry Pi. So, Raspberry Pi is a micro sized computer, more specifically you can call it as single board computer which is of very low cost device and it is easy to access. Next point is Raspberry Pi compared to Arduino is more powerful, powerful in terms of computation or processing power. Additionally, it also has better memory capacity and it can integrate with different types of sensors and actuators. This feature makes it more attractive than Arduino. Next, we can configure Raspberry Pi as a web server, as an edge server and so on. So, next these are this slide uh, represents specifications of different Arduino boards. So, you have Raspberry Pi 3 model B, Raspberry Pi 2 model B, Raspberry Pi 0. These are the diff different boards available and the features we are comparing these boards are what is the RAM of each board, what is CPU, GPU, Ethernet wireless connection, video output and GPIO pins. So, if you consider feature RAM in Raspberry Pi 3 board, it is 16 GB SD RAM, here 1 GB SD RAM and 512 MB SD RAM. CPU if you see quad, quad core, here also quad core, but in Raspberry Pi 0 ARM is the CPU used that is a microprocessor. Next GPU is 400 megahertz, it is 250 megahertz, say in 0 also 250 megahertz. Next Ethernet, wireless and then you, you are having a feature called as video output and then GPIO, GPIO is general purpose input output pins in the board that we can see in the latest slides. So, whatever board you are taking GPIO pins are same whether it is model B board or model B of Raspberry Pi 2 or Raspberry Pi 0, GPIO pins consist only 40. Next, uh, you are also having provision for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but this provision is provided in only Raspberry Pi model 3. Next, general video output is from HDMI port and there are 40 pins, that is what we told in the previous slide, GPIO 40 pins. So, this is what we are talking about, 40 pins. So, these GPIO pins are mainly known as general purpose input output pins. So, this diagram is the basic architecture of Raspberry Pi where you have in the central you have CPU or GPU and it is connected to input output, next RAM then USB hub. So, this USB hub can be connected using some USB port or an Ethernet port. So, the, the, this is a basic functional architecture of Raspberry Pi. So, the center one we call it as CPU or GPU where you can connect different types of input output ports. Uh, also, you can connect Ethernet or RAM and USB hub. So, next Raspberry Pi specifically here we are talking about Raspberry Pi 3B plus. Previously, we have seen general features of Raspberry Pi, but here we are talking about Raspberry Pi 3B plus model. So, Raspberry Pi is a small single board computer by connecting you can connect peripherals like keyboard, mouse and display it to the Raspberry Pi. So, because of this it will look like as a mini personal computer. So, it is popularly used for real time imaging or video processing, any of the IoT based applications, even the robotic applications. But it is slower than laptop or desktop, but still uh, it is a computer which will provide all the ex uh, accepted features or abilities at low power consumption. This word is important. It is same as computer, but this Raspberry Pi will work for low power consumption energy source sensors. Next, Raspberry Pi foundation originally provides Debian based Raspbian operating system. Also, you can also provide Noobs operating system for Raspberry Pi. So, you can install Noobs operating system either using any third party versions or like any uh, Ubuntu version or Arch Linux or RISC OS, it will also support Windows 10 IoT core. Next, Raspbian operating system is official operating system available which is free of use. Uh, this operating system is very optimized in Raspberry Pi. Next, Raspbian have GUI 
which includes tools for browsing or uh, creating games using python programming or different uh, office microsoft office also you can use next we should use sd card because uh, to store this operating system what are the operating system that we have seen previously like noobs operating system or debian operating system whatever you are installing for that you need a sd card which is minimum 16 bit which is recommended to install this operating system so raspberry pi is more than a computer as it provides on chip hardware through gpio pins for developing any of the IoT applications. So, by accessing these GPIO pins, we can connect devices like sensors like LED, you can connect, you can connect different types of motors or any different types of sensors which you can control through Raspberry Pi. So, uh, this uh, topic will extend in further topics where you will see uh, practically how you are connecting LED to the Raspberry Pi and displaying the output. But the main purpose is by accessing these GPIO pins, we can connect any of the sensors to build an IoT application. So, next it has ARM based Broadcom processor or you can also say SOC along with on chip C GPU. Next the CPU speed of Raspberry Pi varies from 700 megahertz to 1.2 gigahertz. And also it has onboard SD RAM that ranges from 256 MB to 1 GB. So, Raspberry Pi also provides on chip different types of serial communication you can do using Raspberry Pi. So, different types of serial communications are SPI, I2C and UCART modules. So, this topic also will extend in the next sessions. So, there are different versions of Raspberry Pi available like Raspberry Pi 1 model A, Raspberry Pi 1 model A plus, B, B plus. Next you have Raspberry Pi 2, the next version model B. Next uh, Raspberry Pi 0, this is the initial version. So, out of among all the versions of Raspberry Pi, more prominently used Raspberry Pi and their features are B3 or B plus. So, what are the features which are based on which feature you can select which board is very prominent are this. So, these are the some of the features where we can compare different types of boards like Raspberry Pi model B plus, Pi 2 model B, Pi 3, Pi 3 model B and Pi 3 0. So, these are the different features like SOC here you have, you have BCM 2835, here BCM 2836, BCM 2837, BCM 2835. So, uh, specifically no need of remembering the numerics, but the features will vary because of this you are going to get new versions of Raspberry Pi board. So, CPU if you consider you have ARM broad, broadband com 11 here quad 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 cortex and then quad cortex ARM 11. In the same way operating system frequency and RAM here 512 MB here 1 GB, 1 GB and 512 MB. Next GPU storage micro SD. Next micro SD, this is same for the storage because in order to install operating system, you need to have SD card. In the same way, Ethernet, Ethernet is supported by all the boards and then wireless. The new version like Raspberry Pi model B plus, it will support Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but the previous versions do not support this Wi-Fi module. So, these are some of the features where you can compare different types of board and say which one is more prominent in now IIT applications. Next uh, Raspberry Pi 3 technical specifications, same here microprocessor which is inbuilt in Raspberry Pi, Pi 3 board is Broadcom BCM 2837 and it has 64 bit quad core processor and processor voltage operating system voltage is 3.3 volts and raw voltage input is 5 volts or you can have to a power source maximum current through which input output pins flows is 16. Next maximum total current drawn from all input output is micro amps 54 micro amps and flash memory like this is also one type of operating system. Next internal RAM is 1 G, uh, 1 G bytes and you have DDR2 clock frequency is 1.2 gigahertz GPU you has dual core video 
core gpu you are going for only graphical applications if you want to develop any video applications or video processing applications then you are going to use this pin ethernet and then wireless connectivity next oper operating temperature is between minus 40 degrees celsius to plus 85 degrees celsius so see these are the some of the features of raspberry pi 3 features next uh, board connectors different types of board connectors like you can see name as one column and description in one column ethernet if you take base t ethernet socket usb 2.0 audio output 3.5 mm jack and hdmi video output hdmi port camera connector 15 pin mipi camera serial interface that you can call it as csi2 display connector and uh, this is also one of the pin where you can connect the display connector like external monitor or external display connector you can connect next to memory card slot this is push or pull micro hdio so these are some of the board connectors so as of now we have seen in the last unit about arduino and next in this unit we have started with raspberry pi so what is the difference between the arduino board and raspberry pi board first point is arduino is a microcontroller which is part of computer it runs only one program again and again but here raspberry pi itself is a mini computer it is a mini computer with raspberry operating system and it can run multiple programs at a time next uh, next uh, uh, differentiation is arduino requires external hardware to connect the internet but raspberry pi can be easily connected to internet using ethernet port or usb port or you can use dongle next arduino has only one usb port to connect to the computer but whereas raspberry pi has four usb ports to connect to to different devices at a time that's why we say you can run on multiple programs at a time next arduino processor used in arduino is from avr family that is 80 mega 32 8p here raspberry pi the processor used is arm family this processor you need to remember next arduino uses uh, the, for you to run the programs or develop iot applications you can use c or c++ language for coding here in uh, in raspberry pi you can use python c c++ or ruby next arduino can provide on board storage but limited memory here you have but here you can provide separate external sd card port using that sd card port you can install any different types of operating system so storage is on board here no inbuilt wi-fi or bluetooth facility provided in arduino but whereas in raspberry pi inbuilt wi-fi bluetooth is facilitated next no onboard port for camera but here you have onboard port for camera you have separate port where you can connect camera and arduino board is low, low cost raspberry pi is relatively high cost so these are the different uh, differentiations between arduino board and raspberry pi thank you